As winter looms, animals make their preparations for the challenges ahead. Fortunately for many animals, one of the Pacific Coast's greatest natural events happens just in time, providing animals with a bounty of food resources. This is the Salmon Run. I'm Bennett Whitnell, and this is Grant Caligari. We are videographers with the Hakai Institute. With the use of these stealth cameras, we've been able to capture subtle and intimate moments that we'd never otherwise get to see with our own eyes. And so far, nature has not disappointed. This bear coming through here. In an inconspicuous forest halfway up Vancouver Island lies Morrison Creek. We have strategically placed trail cameras throughout the forest, hoping to capture some amazing wildlife behavior. Every fall, salmon return from the ocean to where they were born not long before to complete their life cycle and breed the next generation of salmon. We set up new camera traps along the salmon stream in Morrison Creek, hoping to catch some of the action. A mother bear and her two cubs travel downstream as the cubs practice their fishing skills on the returning salmon. Salmon play an important role for the bears of Morrison Creek. Black bears gain much of their stored fats for the winter from foraging on the spawning salmon. After a short chase, this bear manages to grab a meal. Salmon attempts to make it over this log jam, but fails. Pacific salmon can jump up to two meters or more. It may wait to muster the energy to try again by resting in deep pools with a lower flow. The bears use pools created from fallen logs and trees, where they can easily pick off the exhausted fish and they get a good perch to view all the salmon traveling upstream. This bear easily plucks an exhausted salmon from the water, choosing to release it back into the stream. When there's an abundance of salmon in the waterways, bears can afford to be picky eaters often prioritizing female salmon that haven't yet spawned to get at the fatty and energy-rich eggs, as well as the heads for the energy-rich brains. This salmon gets the chance to continue its journey upstream. We notice a large number of different individuals patrolling the watershed, all keen on ensuring they get their fill of salmon. So, there's sure to be some conflict. This bear that walks downstream has a large gash in its rear end. Depending on the abundance of salmon in the stream, bears can vigorously defend their fishing spots this bear may have fought another to earn this wound. Even with this impressive injury, 
the spare catches the salmon. He returns over the next few days to roam down this stream. Anything slightly out of place, such as our cameras, and the bears take notice. They thoroughly inspect our cameras with their sensitive noses. A great blue heron patrols the stream, stealthily moving throughout the water, searching for a meal. Their diets consist mainly of small fish, so large salmon aren't what they're after here. Herons locate their food by sight and usually swallow it whole. A couple of weeks later and the injured bear's wound appears to be healing. Another bear sits and has its salmon meal on a log in the middle of the stream. Bears play an important role in moving nutrients throughout the environment. Bears can carry salmon inland from the water, spreading nutrients derived from the ocean. The discarded carcasses also feed gulls, crows, ravens, eagles, marten, numerous insects including ground beetles and fly larvae. The carcasses, as well as scat from bears and other animals, fertilize the ground, providing nutrients for the plants and the trees. A family of raccoons travels upstream. As scavengers, they may be drawn to the smells of the fish carcasses spread along the streams and the forest. It looks like the best option for this bear's meal tonight is a salmon carcass left behind by another bear. A bald eagle makes an appearance in the stream. They prey on fish, small mammals, and waterfowl. They are also scavengers, and many eagles travel to the salmon spawning rivers during the fall to feed on the abundance of carcasses sprawled about from the bears. This bald eagle attempts to catch a salmon without much luck.
Eventually, a bald eagle takes advantage of the discards from a bear who had left its scraps on this log. And a juvenile bald eagle finishes off what little is left. Due to the mild climate on the west coast, some great blue herons remain throughout the winter and will continue to patrol the streams like this one. This bear smells the location of the devoured salmon carcass. We are now nearing the end of the salmon run. The salmon have completed their life journey and have either released their sperm and eggs or have become nutrients for the inhabitants of Morrison Creek. This bear heads off into the woods, perhaps to continue to search for a meal or to find a nice place to den in preparation for the long winter ahead. The animals of the salmon streams have now filled their bellies. In the next episode, we head into the winter season to finish the year in Morrison Creek. <laughs>